Okay, everybody, welcome back. I am back in the lagoons at the first bridge where I like to put in. Here at Presque Isle State Park is a pretty decent size area, and I think the best way to really explore it, I mean, there are plenty of areas where you can get access to the edge uh, along the bay side, but I think the real way to see these lagoons is by kayak, is to get in here and explore it by kayak you really can get a better sense of the wildlife that's out here. A pair of kingbirds over here right now, I just mentioned, here's this, again, this female wood duck. She's got three young, I think. Yeah, three. Great blue heron just took off. These, <laughs> these great blue herons here, in the lagoons, anytime you approach them in, on a kayak, you get within 30 or 40 yards of them. They just don't like it, and off they go. Yeah, I would think they would be a little more habituated to the to the kayak traffic that's out here, this boat traffic that's out here, but they simply are not. They don't want anything to do with you. So. I'm going to turn the kayak around. You're going to see a dead tree behind me, hopefully. <laughs> and this dead tree right now has probably 15 or 20 purple martins sitting on top of it. There are lots of martins in this area, uh, as well as lots of barn swallows. Barn swallows uh, nest throughout the park, and there are several purple martin colonies in the park as well. We got here. Just turn around now. A little closer look. Yeah, almost 20 purple martins up there right now. That's nice. They're down here hawking for some of the insect kingfisher right out in front. Just over the water. A couple kingbirds calling in the background here too. All right, let's see if I can get back in here. So this is interesting. There's a pair of kingbirds here. They have a nest. And it's in this dead tree behind me. It's in this dead tree behind me. And I can see with the binoculars there's at least one baby and there's probably more. I just think it's a little unusual. The last week of July and you've got kingbirds. You have babies that have not fledged yet. So that to me is it's rather interesting that they've nested this late, but maybe it's a second brood. I don't know. Now they're hanging around the nest. The kingfisher, which is now directly in front of me, he'd come over close to the kingbird nest, and both adult kingbirds dive bomb the kingfisher to push him out. That was very interesting. Actually, there's a pair of kingfishers over here. Yeah, there's two of them. So this is the kingbird nest directly in front of me in this little crooks of this tree here and I can see at least the top of the head of one baby and there's one adult just above the nest and there's another one over here to the right that's calling and again I don't want to spook them too much so I just want to just show that and I'm going to get out of here and leave them be and let them raise their young. Seems to me they picked a little precarious spot there. Hopefully it'll be successful. They were successful in pushing the kingfisher away. Oh, there's the kingfisher calling again. Okay, I'm out of here, guys. You're on your own. Sorry to bother you. That was an interesting find. Kingbirds nesting here this late in July. What's today's date? July 25th. That seems a little late, but what do I know? I'm not a Kingbird. Oh, look at all the damselflies. They're all over me. Look at this. Wow, great. Hey, guys. Hello. All right, everybody be careful. Coming through. Yes. Oh, they're all over my kayak, around my shoes, around my GoPro. Two. One on each GoPro. All right, you guys, you hitchhiking? All right, let's go. Come on. Let's go check out the marsh run, everybody. Look at all these damselflies. Wow, they're everywhere. Whoa. Lots of damselflies. Right, we're going to get back here and we're going to look for 
Marsh Wren, Swamp Sparrow, Virginia Rail, and that elusive, yes, I'm going to say it again, Leech Bittern. There is a Virginia Rail just to my left. He's right out in the open. He's blocked a little bit. Not a good photo. Just disappeared. Nice. Photos aren't going to be very good, but very cool to see him. Oh, there he is. Ah, oh, so much vegetation. I mean, he's in the open, but he's blocked by a lot of the vegetation. Just splashed. I'm gonna see if I can get up in here. If you want to see the habitat that Virginia rails and least bitterns and soras and these other marsh birds, this is it. Right? These reeds, that rail was just walking along this edge here, disappeared into here. You can forget it. You're not gonna find that rail. You're not going to see him unless he wants you to see him. But that was cool. This is roughly the area where I had heard this Virginia reel yesterday, but never got a glimpse of it. And that was a pretty good look. Again, not great photo ops, but it was a pretty good look. That was a very good look, actually. I'm going to slip back out of here. Not easily, but I will. Well, you realize pretty quickly when you're out here, you're in their habitat, not in yours. They can slip in and out of these reeds. They look so tightly packed together, you wouldn't think anything can get through there. And those rails just slip through, maneuver, and they vanish. And that was our Virginia rail. That was nice. That was a good, a good pickup, a good sighting. Yeah, didn't get least bittern yet, but Virginia rail, boy, that's right up there. And again, I would say down here at Presque Isle, you probably have a very difficult time seeing, seeing Virginia rail if you're not in a kayak. You might be able to hear them off in the distance, but I would think seeing them would, would not be particularly easy. I mean, it wasn't even easy for me in the kayak, but uh, and if there's one, there's more. Just had the least bitter. Oh! I saw it just on the edge, just barely. I mean, just a glimpse. And as I'm gliding in like this, I was going to grab the camera. And I just turned on the GoPro, and then no sooner did I turn on the GoPro, off it went. All right, we did see it. Did add it to the list. It has not eluded me now. I finally got it on one of the trips out here. I will call that a minor victory. Just had a kill deer fly by. That's nice. I haven't had that yet. And there's tree swallows, barn swallows, and martins flying around. So three species of swallows. Probably rough wing around here as well, I would think, if you looked hard enough. We got over here. Oh, flycatchers. Oh, willow flycatcher. Pretty sure this is willow flycatcher. I'm gonna go over and investigate this. There's a tree up here on my left that I photographed an osprey in a couple times out here. And right now there's a male cardinal almost an identical spot that Osprey and he's singing. I don't know if the mic's going to pick that up or not. Okay, let's see if we can hear the Cardinal. Did you hear him?
One more time. Here we go. Come on, bud. Just three. Come on, come on. On cue, man. Come on. One more. That's the cardinal. He really sticks out on top of that tree. I mean, at 200 yards away, I saw this, right, this red dot, and I was like, what the hell is that? And it was the cardinal. So there's our cardinal for the day. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 what the hell is up? Something here. What is we got here? Whoa, whoa, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Not one, two, two pileated woodpeckers just off the tree line here. Nice. They are in the park. I've had them here before. I had one maybe a year or two ago, and I've seen them in the past, but there were two flying, and it just, something just didn't look right. They, they've disappeared now. But they were just flying over, right over the tree line. You know, it's a big enough bird, if, but the, the, the way the, the flight pattern is of, of a pileated, and something just caught my eye on that. Put the binoculars up, and sure enough. Now that was nice. That was a really good bird to add. I was not expecting a pileated woodpecker, let alone two of them. So, wow, add that to the list. That was cool. So again, you just don't know what you're going to see unless you get out, right? That's the whole part of the adventure, is to see when you get out what it is that's out here. What, what birds are you going to see? What other wildlife are you going to see? What other you know, all well, these dragonflies and damselflies and butterflies this time of year. All this bird life. That was, that was cool. Well, I didn't get the bald eagle, but a pair of pileateds, I'll take that. That's, that's, a, that's a more than an even trade. In fact, I think I would rather see a pileated woodpecker than a bald eagle. No disrespect to bald eagles. I like bald eagles, but you don't see a lot of or at least I don't see a lot of pileated woodpeckers, so that was nice. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, there it is. Osprey, dive bombing a bald eagle. Here comes the eagle. There's the osprey. Oh, that osprey was pissed. I heard the osprey first. I looked, and sure enough, he was dive bombing the eagle. And there's an eagle nest here somewhere. I don't know exactly where it is, but I believe there's one back in this area somewhere. I can still see the osprey. He's moving from right to left. The eagle went down. Well, so I got the, the bald eagle, osprey, and I got a pair of pileated woodpeckers. Oh. That's a green herring calling. I don't see it. I just heard it calling. Oh, and there it is, it's up in the tree. Look at this. One, two, oh, I thought it was, no, there's two. There's two green herons in the top of this tree. That, that's the green heron calling. It's, it's interesting, there's, there's two green herons literally at the top of this tree one at about 1 o'clock and one at about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. And it's in with some red-winged blackbirds, I believe. Oh, there's a third one. It just flew out. Now one just flew out again. There's two of them that just flew out. And there's a third one that's in the tree. So there's three green herons here. Oh, that was cool. I was just watching this dragonfly, and this purple martin came right down and grabbed the dragonfly right out of midair. Wow, that Martin was quick. That dragonfly never saw him. I got a beaver right in front of me. Oh, he just slapped his tail at me.
Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my little adventure today, my paddle at the lagoons here at Presque Isle State Park in Erie, Pennsylvania. It was a great afternoon, ended on a highlight there. Saw that beaver, it gave me a big tail slap in the water. Uh, come on out to the park if you haven't been here. Uh, this is really the crown jewel of the area. If you've got a kayak, absolutely bring the kayak, get out in the lagoons, you're gonna love it. Again, thanks for tuning in, and as always, please remember, help protect wildlife and help protect wild places. Cheers.